Now your pipeline view is one of the most basic components of Pipedrive. It's where you'll find your deal stages, which represent key steps in the sales process. But this also gives you a visual snapshot of the overall health of a specific pipeline. The pipeline stages are customizable as long as you have the admin rights to do so. But let's start by just adding a few deals into this current pipeline. You can either click here and fill in all the necessary data and choose the stage this deal is going to go to, or you can add a deal to a specific stage right away. If you already have data related to your deals already sitting in a spreadsheet or something like that, it's very easy to import it right into Pipedrive. You can learn more about it in the link in this video. Then the idea is as you perform your sales activities and your deals are moved along the stages of your pipeline, they're moved until they're either lost at some point in the process or won. It's also worth mentioning that you can have several pipelines with their own unique sets of stages, and you can switch between them as well as transfer deals in between them. And the deals in the pipeline are automatically prioritized by activities and their due dates. This means it's immediately apparent to you which deals to focus on right here and now. Keep in mind that the first pipeline you're seeing can't be deleted, but it can be edited. You can add new stages or delete the existing ones. You can also rename these stages, change their position, but remember only admins have access to do this. But let's actually create a whole new pipeline with unique stages. The next thing you'll want to do is give this pipeline a name. Let's just call this one customer success, for example. And same as before, you can customize it depending on your industry and need. We'll leave these as is for now, though. Now here you can define the probability of winning your deals in each stage. So it's pretty natural that you're less likely to win a deal in the first stage of your pipeline and more likely to win it further along in your pipeline. So if this is enabled, your deal stage will automatically display the percentage of the total expected revenue for all deals in that specific stage of the pipeline view. And at the top of your pipeline, you can see the total value of all deals in your pipeline, as well as the total weighted value taken into consideration the probability set for each stage. But we all know that some deals are more likely to be won than others. And that's what deal probability is for. When enabled and used, the deal probability value will be prioritized over the stage probability for the pipeline stage that the deal is currently living in. There's also this great deal rotting feature, which lets you configure how many days should go by before Pipedrive should highlight this deal in red and kind of bring to your attention that it's been idle for too long. You can also use the filters in your pipeline view or list view for that matter to hone in specifically on your rotting deals. Any update on the deal will reset the time it takes to get all rotten again. And again, only admin users can set up this feature, just so you know. Now going back to those filters again, there's some default filters already at your disposal, such as being able to filter deals by the owner or the status, or you can create your own custom filter. And if these start to really kind of pile up, you can actually favorite your filter and they'll show up in the favorite section. Be sure to let us know what other time-saving features you'd like to hear about in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest Pipedrive improvements. And as always, thanks for watching, Pipedrivers.